Hi, my name is Roger Brown. I'm here at Virginia Water Lake in Surrey in the United Kingdom. And I'm here to help you take better photographs using the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. It is absolutely freezing, but hopefully my fingers are gonna start working and we're gonna take some great images today. Okay guys, we're gonna jump straight into this. First thing we're gonna do is click on the arrow to the left of the screen, which opens up the menu for us. And the first thing we're gonna look at is the flash. To be honest, the flash isn't the best on the iPhones. So we're just gonna go straight into what is called live mode now. Now what live mode does is it lets you record one second of footage once it's on. We're gonna click on the live on and that will record a series of frames, which is a bit like a motor drive on a camera and allows you to choose the frame that you like, which we think works best, captures the action or the lighting that you've chosen on that particular day. So let's take the picture. Okay, there we go. We've got the picture in our library just there, so we can click on that arrow and that brings the image up. And what we can do is we can actually scroll through the image and you can see the water's actually moving on that and allows you to pick the frame that you really think works best for you. The next option that we have available is the actual aspect ratio or crop of the image. If you're really, really into Instagram, then the best one for you would be the one-to-one -one ratio, which would give you a square format picture. So it's absolutely perfect, saves you a lot of time having to recrop, and there you have it, straight away with that. People that like to produce prints, then probably the 4-3 ratio is the best. It will create a very, very standard format size for printing. My personal favorite is the 16 by 9 format, which is great for landscapes and utilizes a lot of the screen size. One of the great features of the iPhone is that you can control the exposure. So by clicking on the plus and minus symbol, and using the slider, you can actually control the depth and the mood of the image that you're actually taking. It's really, really great for you budding and salad and landscape photographers out there. If you have a tripod and you love taking selfies, then the self timer is for you. You can control it to three or 10 seconds and basically just press that, set it on a tripod and where it counts down and then you have your image. Filters are a great way of enhancing and changing the quality of the image. We've got original settings. We've also got settings which allow you to have more vivid colors and you can warm the image up, cool it down if you wish to. You can even make it more dramatic. It actually adds density to the sky. You can have warm, dramatic, cool, dramatic, and now some black and white ones. Mono is a little bit flat, I like silver tone and noir actually adds a graduated filter into the sky. Now on to where the settings start to get really professional. We have something which is called AE and AF lock. And what that stands for is auto exposure and auto focus lock. So by putting your finger on the screen and holding it there, you can actually select an area that you want to focus on and also expose for. Yeah, we've moved it off the rock and we're moving it onto the background over the other side of the lake and back onto the rock again and you can see how that really really starts to change the image The lens array on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is really what sets it apart. We have a wide, a super wide and a telephoto lens option on there, which you can access just by pressing the button 0.5 super wide, one standard and 2.5 the telephoto. I love the panoramic lens quality on here. I'm just going to quickly show you how to use this. You set the camera on a tripod, which is essential to get the horizon correctly aligned. If you hand hold it, it tends to kind of wobble about and you crop the top and bottom. And you just sweep through. There's my camera bag. So that's a bit of an amateur mistake there. Being a professional photographer, I shouldn't do that. So let's just go and try this again. So we set the camera back, press the button, and gently scroll through there. Very, very smoothly. The smoother the better because you retain all the detail and you don't get any glitches within there. 
stop just there before my camera bag. And there we go, we can access that through the library and we've got a beautiful panoramic image up there. You can actually zoom into the image a little bit more so you can start to see the finer details of that. Hopefully that's given you an idea of how to use the basic controls of the iPhone 12 Pro. Next week we're going to the more advanced levels. Hopefully my fingers will have thawed out by then and we'll be looking at shutter speed and shooting at night time. So please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.